Okay guys, welcome to the Mastercam course. In that course, we're gonna talk about cutting time. As you know that cutting time is quite important parameters for all of us because we need to say how much money we should offer about our product. So that's why cutting time is good parameters to all of us. So I'm gonna turn to meaning operations. In that case, we're gonna talk about how can we calculate time as a parametric. As you can see in here, our formula is toolpath length divided our feed rate. So that's quite easy. So if we are focusing our example here, I need to calculate my toolpath length. For example, in that case, we can see that my toolpath length is like this. Of course, you also need to be careful about your unit. My unit is millimeter in that case. After that, I can also need to know about my feed rate. My feed rate is calculated 1000 millimeter divided by mean. So according to my formula, I can easily calculate my time. So I, I just need to divide my toolpath length, my feed rate. So after that, I can easily calculate my cutting time. Of course, in that case, I am not consider any rapid movement or another um, prepared section. Of course, this is exact cutting time. So if you intend to calculate your um, total time, you also need to consider your tool change time and, and for example, some uh, preparing time, you also need to add that value. Okay, okay. let's also talk about a different perspective here. If you um, get to know about your toolpath land, this is my toolpath land. It's easy. After that, I also know my spindle speed. Okay, this is my spindle speed and this is my feed rate. But this is my feed rate according to only one teeth. So we can see that kind of parameters most of the time. Okay, so this is my and number of fluent about my tool. So I just put some picture here to understand exactly what is this. So this is my fluent and number of fluent on my tool. So we can see that one, two, three, and four. Most of the time, you're gonna see the four and teeth and on your ant meal. Okay. According to my feed rate calculation formula, I need to multiply with my spindle speed and my feed rate and my number of teeth. Okay. According to that formula, I can easily calculate my feed rate like this. So this is my feed rate. So this is my toolpath length. So I can easily calculate my cutting time. Okay. Okay, let's talk about master cam. How can I calculate it? Of course, while you are creating your toolpath, you can also need to be considered and your number of fluids. So in that case, you just need to use right mouse button, edit tool options. After that, you're gonna see the some edit tool and window like this. You also need to be considered, you need to click on that part, finalize properties. In that case, you're gonna see your number of fluids. And as a default parameters, you're gonna see four here. So you don't need to change your parameters, but if you intend to use the different number of fluids, for example, two, it's also quite common, you need to change that parameters. After that, of course, I need to write my feed rate here. Of course, that feed rate according to only one teeth. So that's why I am writing here 0 0.12. After that, I also need to consider my spindle speed. Of course, it's easy to calculate our spindle speed according to our tool diameter and our cutting speed. But in that case, I just and ignore that case, I'm just writing my spindle speed. After that, also, you need to create your toolpath. After that creation, 
you need to select your toolpath to see your toolpath length. After that, you can turn to backload simulation, that button. After that, of course, you need to push that extent button. After that, you're going to see under info path, you're going to see your cycling time and toolpath length. It's also easy to calculate according to your toolpath band. So we're going to see our and cutting time like this. But according to our formula, we're going to calculate it like this, 6.73. But when I turn back to that case, you're going to see the different values here. So this is, of course, according to a little bit and difference it's also possible but you can also consider that part as a cycling time or your toolpath length because it's easy to calculate it just need and you just need to divide your toolpath length your feed rate so that's it okay thank you very much for listening to me don't hesitate to ask me a question i'm here to answer your question thank you very much and take care